Good early afternoon. Afternoon. I, it's Saturday, I didn't work, it was great. Literally, I remember waking up today and, being like, and Grant, hearing Grant being like, yes, Peter doesn't have to work. <laughs> so we've been, Sarah's been editing. Um, we were playing with Violet, me and Grant played some games. Um, we're now walking over to my parents to visit my parents and my sister. My, we have a birthday present for my sister. It's a, what is it, the coffee mug, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's really cute. It's like gold and turquoise -y. And a little bit, of, like it's a little Mickey. It's like a little hidden Mickey so she can bring it to college and be like, not super gawky Disney in case she's embarrassed by that stuff, but and still have it though. And it's like, I feel like you'd find that in like a, a hip college dorm. Yeah. You know? That's why I like the design. Uh, but we're just walking. Let's, let's wait to cross here, yeah. And we're gonna go see them and it's hot. It feel, it's hotter right now than it has been the past like two weeks in Florida. Yeah. It's gonna get up to like 90 I think today. It's like 95 I think. But what feels good is uh, there's no humidity. Right. So like I like I feel great. Like I'm a little sweaty but I sweat every day. <laughs> but there's no humidity so like I'm super comfortable. <laughs> Who's my baby? <laughs> Who's your baby? <laughs> Who's my baby girl? <laughs> Who's your baby possum? <laughs> Who's your baby possum? Hello. Who got you? Huh? Who's your baby possum? Who's your baby possum? Who's your baby girl? Alrighty. So you might have noticed that we were back at home. Um, we actually left Peter's parents' house because Christina called us and my grandma had fallen. Um, so she had to go to the hospital. I think she's gonna get stitches. We haven't heard anything about like coming home or whatever, but hopefully I'll be fine. Um, so we are going to just sit outside and kind of wait to hear more. Clean. Peter's working on the screen and porch. My mom was working on it um, before she had to leave. Yeah. So he's gonna finish it. We're gonna be on the hammock. Hammock, hammock, hammock. Everybody's on Peter's side. Hammock, it's spelled with an O. <laughs> so all of the stuff from inside is out, but it'll look fresh and clean once it's done. This is Home Decor Feng Shui by Peter and Grant. Mm -hmm. Notice the key points that all of the little tchotchkes are here and they're not in their places because we couldn't decide. Like, I made this little display, but I was thinking about putting the bird over by the birdhouse, but I know the birdhouse does not go there. I think this might go here. And, but what about the baseball dream a little montage? I think that, right no, I think that this goes good all together. Well, what goes there? This birdhouse? Yeah. Yeah, that, that'll go there. This little guy's cute. I thought that was inside. I didn't know it was outside. Um, Mom will figure it out. Yeah, she'll figure it out. Also, an update. Sarah's, I don't know when Sarah's mom and grandma are going to be home. They should be home tonight, though. Yeah. And everything looks good. Like, they did some scans on grandma and everything They're looks gonna good. They're going to check her tailbone. Yeah. And then stitch her up. So... Stapler up, I heard. Ooh. Staples. I had staples in second grade. I hit my head. And I got three staples right over here. Staples usually do a better job. And they're yeah, easier to come out. Yeah. Um, I'm really thirsty. Okay, let's go inside. Coming off the face. Are you looking at the video for laughing? No, I'm looking at what's going on in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I said my name was Christina's eyes, my eyebrows. They look crazy right now because they get the bag of loose skin now. This is the first hair I've ever dyed on my head. Christina says eyebrows look crazy the first day, but if they look crazy the second day, it's her okay. fault. I dye my eyebrows, they don't look crazy. Your Debatable. <laughs> She's going to town, man. Is that corn on the cob? Yeah. <laughs> We're giving Violet first little bit of real. Well, she's had rice, but like real food, she's having. She's had some... rice cereal before, she's never had avocado. She's going to try avocado.
see Nasserton. I have no idea if you can see us right now because the camera's over there, like the back of it. But we're going to get a uh, we're going to get some food. It's an, it, I don't I don't know if it's national international, but it's it's Italian beef day at least here in Chicago. So one of the uh, bona beef. Bona. Yeah. Um, we're going to get some beefs. Grandma's home. Awesome. So there's cousin Matt's over. We're gonna play some games, hang out, have a good time. I'm gonna have like three milkshakes, I think. I'm gonna have a milkshake. Grant's getting moody right now because he's got a soccer game in the morning. I think I might go. It's like what, 6 30 and seven twenty five? We start at 7 20. We start at 7 20? That's too early. We have to leave at 6 50 or something. Who's like playing that. an intense sport like soccer at 7 20? Not me. I just close my eyes and run. Uh, three regular fries, a vanilla shake, and a seven-inch beef, the and uh, another regular fry. Yes. Alright, so we just ordered all that food. 52 bucks, which is not bad considering we just got four shakes, like five or six fries, six beefs. That's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out. Six original seven-inch beefs, $17, because it's national beef day. These are actually, we're splitting these. Two for him, two for me. Holy Italian beefs. Bona beef. It's actually international. No, is it it's national? national. I, I thought the same thing. I, I was like, I don't know if it's national or international. It's national. National Italian beef day. I'm pretty bummed. Violet is showing us her dance move. Okay, this is her curtain. <laughs> Good job. I'm recording this clip on Sarah's iPhone because we're in a fight right now. Because I said we left our camera downstairs and they're trying to get the baby to sleep. They're like, oh, just film it on your camera. And Sarah's like, no, you film it on my camera because I don't want to hear you talk about how it's not stable. And apparently I've given that to her so much sass about that. So I'm recording this. But Matt's here. We're gonna play some. There's Sassy Sarah. <laughs> we're gonna play some board games because Matt is actually a proponent to everybody who talks about how we don't sleep enough. Whenever we're with Matt, we don't sleep because we play board games all night. Sleeping is dumb. Sleeping is dumb. Sleeping, it's, you're dead. It's inefficient. We're gonna tell them about this game because it's a fun one if you ever want to get it. It's actually a card game. What's it called? It's called uh, Love Letter. Love Letter. But it's cool. You want to be the princess or survive more than the other two, essentially. Or have the highest card. Yeah. Or have the highest card, and there's one through eight cards. There's a rule, though. We'll put the information down below about where to find the rules, because we're not going to tutorialize this. But you always have to guess that it's the Baron. Just know that when you play this game. Alrighty, so how did my eyebrows look? I forgot, did we, oh yeah, Grant came in and showed. I dyed my eyebrows, did I tell you that? Do they look darker? I've heard it. Next up, it's big try. You know the last time we played this, it got kind of intense, Katie and Dustin. But this time, the clip. Where we are well rounded now, remember the rules? Mm -hmm. This yep. is probably my favorite board game. It's a good one. thing is, is I told Grant that I would go to his soccer game, and I have to get up in like four hours because of that. Needless to say, I will be buying a coffee in the morning, off of some cart, hopefully. We are going to go to bed. Probably not right away, but... For the vlog, we're on to bed. We're just going to cruise Netflix until we Tomorrow's both fall asleep. Tomorrow's the kickball game. 
Grandma's doing good. She's mm-hmm. home. She's not going to be able to go to the kickball game. She just needs a rest. Um, thanks for all the happy birthdays and all the nice comments so far of us being mm-hmm. home. We, we really love we it. We love it. We appreciate it. You know it. <laughs> and uh, we'll put links in the info down below about like Ticket to Ride and um, what was the other game called? Love Letter. Love Letter. Because Love Letter's easy, it's quick to learn. It's getting again. Easy, quick to learn, and fun, and multiple people or small amounts or large amounts of people can play. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>